catch on fire. It cannot catch on fire. Told ya. That is dope as fuck. The Jabberwock with eyes of flame. Who are you? I'm Josh. I'm, I'm Horatio. How's it going? What's good? I'm Marcus. Who are you? I'm Ray. Uh, I should have put more juice in. It's good. Ah. Hey, you kids want to feed your heads? Two ounces of sacrosanct mind fuck. People, I am going offline now. See you on the other side. Oh, Horatio, you good, man? The word good has lost all meaning, my friend. Mm. Okay, you good? Mm. Did I forget to mention that these boomers had a little acid bath? Uh, Josh? It's okay, they're using hallucinogens in clinical trials for... Mass bees. Mass, mass bees. <laughs> Josh is feeling it. Okay, let's go find something for you to stare at. Huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. You're not Ray. You're Ray Raymond Kinney Ray. I, I still got your old hacker zines, man. I remember reading War Driver and gearing up my 10 speed, backpack with an antenna. Shit, I even used your old root kit, man. Fuckster? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> well, I assumed you were all just skitty pests. Correct me if I'm wrong, but your crew seems to have a lot of unfocused noise. You the leader? Fine, world. Uh, no, nah, man, it doesn't work like that. Dead sex got a rule: no personal armies, no leaders. Yeah. Well, FYI. I saw you leading out no, there. Oh, man, this is everything we're fighting against. The system back home is completely fucked. And any kid out there on the sand is gonna say the exact same fucking thing. Easy words, bro, easy words. All right. A few years ago, this broken-ass system marked me as a criminal risk. Linked me to some shit I didn't even do because it was probable. And now, with CTOS, it's everywhere. I mean, I, I can see it down to the... <laughs> to the, to the sub subliminal shit. You just multiply. Yeah, we have a tendency to do that. What you call subliminal is a bellwether, Marcus. You got a short eye, kid. But subliminal is passive. Bellwether program is control. It's like a Orwell Huxman double punch. Profiling. Media manipulation. Corporate collusion. Consumerism. All driven by predictive algorithms. And now, it's setting up shop in the heart of the Silicon Valley. And somebody at Bloom's using the CTOS to feed it data. You're recruiting. <laughs> I'm aching. Aching to give Bloom a Swiss steel kick in the peanut sack. Now I can help you kids up your game. Yeah. Help me slay the real Jabberwock. Walk with me, Marcus. Fuck up, let's yeah, go. man. Uh, I just spent the night in a pup tent next to a lady who was very nude and very tattooed. Oh, good for you, girl. No, you don't get it, man. She was the son's of Ragnarok bride. I got, we gotta go, man. We gotta fucking vamoose now. Come on. Fucking sons are coming. Oh, God. Mm. Wow. So you said you guys fucked up. How bad is it? 
Yeah, we all at risk now because my name's got a red flag on it. Yeah, people are gonna start making the connections. Yeah, where the fuck is everyone? Is that all? It's enough. We're talking about Bloom here. Hey, and you're talking to Bloom's public enemy number one, son? Yeah, I've been dodging those bastards for years. If you want, I could scrub you from the system. Give me a couple hours. Just like that? Well, I might have to sacrifice a goat as part of my arcane ritual, but yeah, just like that. <laughs> there you are. We've been looking for you all morning. Turns out Swelter Skelter doesn't have a lost and found. <laughs> nah, it's more of a finder's keeper's policy out there in the desert. What in the hell is he doing here? Yeah, Marcus, why did you invite this stranger into our house? Look, look, it just happened, all right? We were running from these bikers, right? And yeah. look, you know what? It doesn't even matter. He's cool. Oh, he's cool. Well, that's good. Because we usually discuss these things as a group. I know. It's my bad. But you met Ray already, right? I want to introduce you to Raymond Kinney. That's Raymond Kinney? I thought you'd be cleaner. Yeah, I get that a lot. Can I have a hug? Um, yeah, I have a two-second room. <clears throat> I get this a lot, too. Can we keep him like a hacker in residence? Yeah, we could use his help. He should, he can, he, he can stay here, right? He should, he should stay here. Okay, fine. But if he fucks with any of us, I'm gonna pop his nuts like ripe grapes. Message received. Nice hat. Nice mask. Okay, we're good. You want a beer? Uh, yeah, I would love a beer or two. Oh, thank you. Grab the man some hardware, too. He's gonna teach us some magic. How's DedSec taking the new Dawn victory? Eating it up. Protests are going full force across the country, and people who aren't even associated are standing next to us. Couldn't have gone better. Well, not unless the church shut down completely. <laughs> we'll keep pushing until it does. With Miranda and Jimmy Siska on the front lines, New Dawn's taking a huge hit. Apparently, our home CEO tested his new software on his own family. You're joking. His wife filed for divorce this morning, citing illegal surveillance of a minor. Whoa, so he's looking at jail time? It's all conjecture right now, but it seems possible. Turns out, secretly spying on people tends to make them a little angry. Mm, who would have guessed? If we had stayed here pissed off, depressed, hell, lost, this group would be gone. You're the new guy, and you managed to keep our collective shit together. Hey, we're a team, right? Thanks to you. Okay, I get it. Stop. You don't like praise, do you? You wonderful, wonderful man. You glorious hero, you. Stop! Marcus, I need your help. Sure, man, what is it? I picked up a rash or something from Swelter Skelter. I've noodled it, and of course, Dr. Noodle's telling me it's ovarian cancer or something equally horrifying, but I wanted to get a second opinion on it. <clears throat> I think maybe somebody else in the group could help you with that. Come on, Josh would just share it with everybody. And there's no way Satara's gonna look under there. Nope, this is the nope situation. Some friend you are. Hey, kid. Ready to change the world? I got something for you. So, Josh, what'd you think about your first Swelter Skelter? I think mushrooms have opened up some very promising avenues for me, so I've got a few grow kits on the way. I had a hard time choosing between Mazatepec and White Lightning, but I'll find the strongest effect by process of elimination. These are only two of a dozen solid options, so I'm gonna have a busy year. You need any help testing those? I'm your man. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> Always happy to help. Hey, yo, T-Bone. 
I'm ready, man. I'm pumped. No, seriously, hacktivist mode, activate. Hey, man, how do we get Bloom? <laughs> what? Hold on to your joystick, son. You kids are gonna need to work your way up to Bloom, even with me help. Bray, are you briefing him without me? We were supposed to do that together. Uh, no, I just didn't want to trouble you. What trouble? No trouble. Come on, Marcus. Let's brief. Okay. So, let's let... look at the big shot data harvester. Our friends at Noodle. Now, every time you search for discount refrigerator or bulldozer porn, they learn more and more about you. Data profiling 101? Uh, right. But what you didn't know was that Bloom's already got their grubby paws all over that data. Oh, shit. Oh, this is good, Sitar. Noodle's data is just what Bloom needs to strengthen the bellwether, dig their puppet strings in deeper. You know, if we could get a hold of this ammunition, we could take down a whole lot of different targets. I can help with that. You can't hack Noodle unless you get into the server farm. You can't get into the server farm without clearance. Hell, you can't even get on the grounds unless you're an employee there. Who the hell you think Rob Zombie over here gets his intel from? Well, tell me you got clearance. <laughs> oh, man, I'm trying to stay low-key right now. One of my leads is breathing down my neck. I bet you Marcus can pose as an employee. Oh, he could do more than pose as an employee, Sitara. Tell him what you told me, Horatio. Noodle buses. I snagged an exploit for credentials. I could get you to the buses. All you gotta do is drive it in. They'll think you're one of the bus drivers. Shit. Yo, let's roll, son. All right. Hey. <laughs> uh huh. Let's do this. Hey. Horatio says Noodle is a master at compartmentalization. There's no way he has any idea what other R&D they're doing there. Always got to be the first to know, huh? I'm tracking their patents, and the only one that looks exciting to me is autonomous hover cars. Finally! What's up? So what happens when we finish here? What's next for the great Ray Kinney? Well, I suppose Frewer and I will move on to... Oh, fuck! What? Oh! I left Frewer in the desert. What's a Frewer? Many scientists have worked hard to figure that out with no conclusive results. Anyway, don't worry about me, kid. You ever need a hand with anything, I'm in. You have a bat signal or something? No, but I'm adding that to my to-do list. I feel like I'm chasing Bloom around the damn country, man. Meanwhile, they think they're chasing me. Might be a smart move. They're not expecting you to come here. A smart move? is to keep moving. But I'm not known for always making smart moves, anywho. A San Francisco group of hackers has exposed New Dawn's religious secrets. DedSec revealed footage of New Dawn's temple area and demonstrated that the so-called ancient artifacts were simply fakes of what New Dawn claimed were ancient tablets. Members of the hacker group managed to infiltrate the highly guarded compound and capture the secretive organization's methods of control over members, including movie star Jimmy Siska. New Dawn declined our requests for an interview. Ray's been filling me in on what he knows about that bellwether algo. I gotta say, it's weirding me out more than I thought. The facial recognition, the emotional mapping, and Noodle's flood of data. This isn't even just predictive analytics. This is... this is like... I know. It freaks me out, too. And it's been around for a while now. How deep does it go? And how far has it spread?
Watch where you're going! All right. You ready? Let's roll. in the parking lot for you. Driver leaves it there every day to get his coffee. Beautiful. All right, man. Let me just say right up the top. I apologize for anything and everything you're about to see. You kidding? I'm getting an inside look at your alter ego, Horatio Carlin, corporate code jockey. Why do I get the feeling this whole thing was a bad idea? It's cool. I'll go easy on you. Okay, now where's the GPS? Hey, sit, sit down. I got it. Man, come on. All right, just. All right. GPS. I know where the GPS is. Up, uh, up. Uh, got it. There you go. Okay. Good, Gary. Hey there. Hey. What? Horatio, what are you doing first on the bus? What can I say? I'm an eager beaver. Anyway, the juicing has really turned my life around. I feel lighter, my mind freer. I hate to break it to you, but juicing doesn't do squat. You haven't tried my juice. I'm serious. What you want is the pulp. That's the healthy part. Juicing extracts all that. All you're drinking is sugar, smoothies. Now that's where it's at. Load them up with fruit, veg, superfoods. Superfoods? Yeah, like goji berries, maca powder, all that good stuff. You have a lot to learn. You know the science behind superfoods is shaky at best. Well, they're health foods. You can't argue that. Yeah, but goji berries are as much a superfood as grapes are. It's a marketing buzzword designed to rope in consumers. No offense. Awkward. You know, Marcus, there are times when I wish I was out doing what you're doing. And then there's today. Thanks, friend. I'm freaking choking on the pretentiousness in here. And here I thought Bloom employees were bad. Hey there. Uh, you stayed late last night? I want to eat hot dogs. Yeah, and the catering made me want to puke. I'd rather starve next time. 
This new sushi place is so not up to par. The soy sauce was so bland. My spicy tuna roll was anything but. Oh, man, that is literally the worst. So, oh man, that is literally. Right. Oh man, that is literally the worst. Literally? I could think of some worse things. Horatio, man, I'm scared, bro. What, what is it? Don't nobody look like us. Oh, man, welcome to Silicon Valley. Hey, what do you call a black man surrounded by thousands of white people? What? Mr. President. Hey, man, they see two of us together, they gonna think we plotting. We are plotting. Got a buddy working at a crime scene at Swelter Skelter. Can you imagine having to find evidence in the desert oh, after this thousands is some of people gross shit. Man, I feel so... Exposed. Hey, yeah, welcome to my world. There's only three other black people that work here. Oh my God! One. <laughs> no. Fuck you, big cat. Yeah, welcome to my world. There's only three other black people that work here. Two guys, one woman. We have our own mailing list. That's rough, but hey, you're fighting a good fight, changing the face of corporate life in the valley. <laughs> You haven't experienced corporate life until you're the only brother in a meeting and have to represent all of blackdom. Jesus. If I had a nickel for every time someone complimented me for being well-spoken. Hey, <laughs> so where's the server farm? Not here, I'm afraid. The whole thing's located under the Noodle Maps building. You'll need a whole other level of clearance to get in there. The managers upstairs can take care of that for you. Just do a repeat performance of the bus hack on one of them, and you're good to go. Hey, uh, do you want a coffee? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, please, help yourself to a pomegranate. There to die for. You're so great. Thank you so much. Okay, neato. Carlin. Grody. Big day today, huh? I'm excited. How about you? You know, you could just tell us what you've been up to. Where you've been looking, who you've been talking trying to. Trying to get coffee. Oh, shit. What was that? Just trying to get a coffee. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm sure you'll be more forthcoming with HR. <laughs> Enjoy that coffee. Watch it! Are you new here? Yeah. Hmm. Punk could love to lay his ass out. I can't stand that mother... Hey, Becky. Gentlemen. He's been watching my ass since the day I got here. Now he's saying I should be more forthcoming with HR? You think he's got something on you? Damn it. Do you have any idea how much jail time I'd be looking at? If I can get into the server farms, I can delete all that shit, all right? We got your back. You're not going in jail. I'll be in touch. All right? All right. All right, Horatio, what's the plan for getting to the Noodle server farm? Best option is the elevator maintenance area on the second floor of Noodle Maps, but watch yourself. Security's tight. Even I don't have access. No sweat. You've been randomly selected. Compiling data.
Asked him how his day was. His answer? Perfect. He asked me about mine. Hey, I couldn't make it to that last meeting. What'd I miss? Which meeting? The one you were just in. Oh, we were just breaking down UI for Project Atmo. Right, right, Atmo. Honestly, if they cut this thing, I'm out of here. I mean, the ability to detect and forecast air quality from your phone will save millions of lives. Hey, where's your desk? I'll come by and sync up with you for the deets. I would if I could, but I gotta duck out early. Thanks, though. Damn! 